the a last interesting topic I want to share with you, we really wanted to get images of what this material looks like, so we took it to, um, we've been working with an electron microscopy facility to do what's called ESEM, or environmental scanning electron microscopy, and um, we've got some early images I can share that just came in a couple weeks ago. So I hope you can see this in the back, but the picture on the left is a clean sand that we sent out of the lab. We had a, a field sand that we sieved and cleaned up and got rid of most of the fines. The size, you won't be able to see the scale bar, I know that, but it's right here. It's about maybe a fifth of the width of the picture and it's 50 microns. So these larger boulders are 50 to 100 micron sand grains, maybe 20 micron in the smaller dimensions. When you treat these materials with plume stop, you get a much different texture. So what we see on the right is a plume stop treated sample of the same material and it doesn't uh, probably come across as well in the back, but we've got a rough sort of grainy texture on the surface. And if you remember back to that column that I showed where the material flows through but it stains the sand, the, the soil gray, that's exactly what you're looking at here is this, that colloidal biomatrix on the surface. One more you might be able to see a little bit better. This has got a 10 micron bar at the bottom here. So these the texture in this picture is actually these colloidal particles and, and the network on the surface with that texture that allows the, uh, <clears throat> the surface to become a home to bind contaminants to support microbes and then generate this synergy that provides contaminant degradation. So if you pick out these little pieces, uh, you can see that the particles are indeed on approximately on the one to two micron particle size range, which is what we expect based on the particle size distribution data from the development. So in summary, you know, we've, we've developed this colloidal biomatrix. It has the ability to greatly reduce risk by getting contaminants out of water quickly. It can prevent migration of plumes and gr dissolved groundwater contamination to, from property boundaries or to sensitive receptors. It has actually a very unique synergy that allows it to be, to be highly effective for treating matrix back diffusion. We've actually filed intellectual property on this. But in heterogeneous sites where you have contaminants stored in the low permeability zones, plume stop can get and surround those zones, capture that contaminant as it comes out, and provide this biomatrix a synergy, create a place to collect higher amounts of contaminant on the surface of the biomatrix, prol pro proliferate the growth of the appropriate bacteria, and accelerate that process and keep the groundwater clean in the meantime.